Hi, my name is Kendall Thompson, and I have been compelled to make this video for quite a while now, and I now feel like this is the right time. And I'm going to talk about the topics of self-love and self-image and um, self-confidence and just that general area of topics. And I know that there's tons of videos out there that have talked about this and discussed this, and there's tons of people's opinions and views out there. But like I said, it's something that I feel like I need to to say and, get, and it's just on my heart and it's something that I need to put out into the world so that's what I'm going to talk about and I'm going to start off with a personal example slash anecdote um that just really ties into this and that's that a couple of summers ago um because actually let me back up normally I'm a very the majority of the time I'm a very positive and outgoing person um, that's just how I'm the happiest and that's just the kind of person that I am and that hasn't always been the case because I am human and so a couple summers ago I just wasn't in a very good place mentally and emotionally um, because of acne which is something I've struggled with since sixth grade um, it got particular particularly bad that year and I just let it consume consume my thoughts and my you know, how I saw myself, just I let negativity consume me, and I just had this awful self-image, I was just disgusted with myself, I didn't want other people to look at me, I didn't want to look at myself, I didn't want to look in the mirror, um, I just remember laying in bed wondering why I had these problems, and, you know, looking at other people, and getting upset when people would freak out over one pimple, because I remember thinking, you know, gee, that must be nice to have one random one pop up, and that's all you have to worry about, like, it was just, not a good time and I just let myself be miserable and just I comp I let acne compromise my personal happiness and what really got me out of that place and helped me is the realization that things such as acne and muffin tops and weight and everything else that our society concerns ourselves with and lets ourselves you know, worry about and obsess over and compromise our happiness and define us is not what we should let define us and, um, you know, compromise our happiness. Because we were put on this earth for a reason and a purpose that's so much greater than worrying about, you know, a breakout or worrying about a thigh gap. And that's something we need to wrap our heads around and it's a realization that we need to come to and I don't know if this video would will do that for anyone, and it might be a waste of your time, but if it could help one person, then it's worth it. Um, like I was saying, it's something that we need to come to terms with. Um, I know it sounds cliche, but what's inside of us, the passion and love and desire that we have inside of us that we should let shine through us and present itself on the outside is what we should focus on. Yes, our bodies are amazing, real, miraculous works of God, and they do amazing things for us, but they're physical, tangible things. They're not what really matters. Our appearance, yes, physical tra attraction and all of that is important, but appearance is not something that we should let solely define us at the core. It's just, it's just, there's so much more than that, and that's something that I had to come to terms with, because as you can see, I still struggle with acne and even when my face happens to be clear of acne I still have acne scarring so it looks like I have acne and it's just this never-ending cycle and it's something I struggle with every day but you have to realize that it's something that everyone struggles with every day um you know low self-confidence and feeling insecure about certain parts of our bodies Beyonce feels that way models feel that way Victoria's Secret angels feel that way the Queen of England feels that way I'm sure she doesn't like the wrinkles she has to cover up every morning um, it's just something that we obsess over as a society but that at the end of the day it's not what defines us and that's what we need to keep in the back of our minds and um, another thing that I want to point out is going along with the whole you know you don't realize how everyone else is going through the same things and the same struggles um, I want to point out that with my whole struggle with acne, you would never know that through my Instagram posts or through my selfies or the pictures I post on social media. You would never guess that. And that goes for everyone. You would never guess some of the struggles that people, other people go through based on 
how we present ourselves on social media. And, you know, when I, at the end of the day, when I take my makeup off and I uncover all of this, you know, it's not something I'm proud of. It's not something that I want to post. It's not something that I'm happy about or that, you know, I want to just, you know, shout out to the world. But at the same time, what you have to realize is that you have to make the conscious effort to not let it define your happiness. There's a difference between, you know, being upset with yourself, or that was a bad way to phrase it. There's a difference between wanting to improve yourself and become a healthier, happier person. But, you know, you can't let it, you can't, let it be self-destructive. You can't let it hold you back. It's just something that you have to approach and change your mindset over. So like I said, you know, you would never know what other people are going through based on, you know, just their outside appearances, which is not the most important thing. Um, We should be judged by our character and by our personality and, you know, the fact that we like to read books late at night and, you know, have a piece of chocolate and, and just enjoy you know, the work and passion of other people or like stare at, that we like to stare at a piece of art and just take in its beauty and meaning and we have our own personal meanings and interpretations of it. That's what we should be focused on, not, you know, our, how flat our stomach is or anything like that. And I know it's hard. I know that's how our society has programmed us and, you know, it's, instilled in us and it's how we think and everything and it's all over the place you can't look at it you can't pass a billboard or read a magazine without being plastered it being plastered all over the place but my point in this is is that you can change your mindset that that's step number one is changing your mindset I had to learn how to not let that those negative thoughts consume me and I needed to make a conscious effort to just push them out of my mind And just remember that I am capable of so much more than I let myself believe. And the only limitations that exist are the ones that you set for yourself. It's so true. Like, literally, it's your mind, it's your body, it's your life, it's your happiness at stake. And that's a lot at stake. So you need to realize that and then realize that you can change your mindset. And once you change your mindset, the wheels start rolling and it's something that you're going to have to work at. It's a daily struggle. Um, I still struggle with it because, once again, what we seem to forget is that no one is perfect. No one. The only one, the only thing that's perfect is God. And God put us on this earth to serve him and to serve each other and to be brothers and sisters in Christ and to come together in love and acceptance and not in judgment and hatred and of our bodies of ourselves of our peers anything like that and it's something that you just gonna have to work at but um realizing that there's a better way to look at things that the way you're looking at things is not right and it's not healthy acknowledging that and then making a physical change and like I said it's not going to be easy and it's something that you're gonna have to work at but that's how you're going to work towards achieving happiness and it's just something that you know, it's a learning process. It's, it's just something that's going to, you know, be your own personal journey, but I promise it's worth it. And you're going to have bad days and you're going to have days where you just question, you know, why you're on this earth or, you know, what, what's your purpose? Why are you special? Why are you worth it? But you are worth it. And for those days that you have those thoughts, you just, once again, like I said, have to recognize that they're negative, destructive thoughts. And negativity gets you nowhere. It does no good. There's a difference between negativity and, um, what's the word? Um, being realistic. You know, not everything is going to be sunshine and rainbows. You can't skip around pretending that everything is perfectly fine and happy and You know, there's going to be really, really, really difficult times in your life and challenges in your life, but it's all about how you perceive it and how you take it in and what you do about it. It's your life. Like I said, it's your happiness and life at stake. And that's a lot. And that's something that you have to recognize that that your happiness and your life are worth it. It's worth whatever it takes. Um, And that whatever you face, whatever comes your way, it's all about your mindset and your approach, and your perspective, and you can change that, you're in charge of that, so I just feel like that's something that sometimes you need to come to terms with, and realize, and 
you know, it's not always clear and obvious, and it's something that I had to realize, but in the end, it's worth it. And so I just think we need to, you know, push aside all, all the things that negativity, or negativity, society screams at us, all the negativity that it sends our way, all the subliminal messages, just everything, just put up a block and just focus on what you need to do in your life. And like I said, I hope this video reaches at least one person and helps one person. Um, it wasn't easy to make because, you know, it's putting yourself out there. But at the same time, like I said, other people's happiness brings me happiness. And so this is an effort to just bring about a lot of happiness. And um, I want to also put out there that if anyone is in need of someone to talk to at any time or is struggling in any way or just would need someone to listen to listen to them or to vent to or rant to or whatever then I'm always here and just remember that you're not alone and that you are a beautiful unique individual that was put on this earth for a purpose and even if you're not sure what that purpose is it's all self-discovery and a self-journey that it's going to you know be worth it in the end and you're worth it so Thank you for taking the time to watch this video, and um, I just hope everyone has a happy holidays. Thank you.